VS Code is one of the best code editor for developers and we all know that. So if you are very beginner to VS Code, then in this mini crash course, I will give you a quick tour of VS Code and how you can use VS Code at its best. So this is how VS Code looks. Sorry, not like that. This is how default VS Code looks. So at the top, we have top bar in which we have file, edit, terminal and many menus. Also, we have search bar for searching the file in our opened folder. I will show you that in just a minute. After that, we have sidebar which is very important. First of all, we have explorer panel. 90% time, we will in this panel. This panel shows our project folder which we currently open in VS Code. So to show you, let me open my simple project in VS Code. So go to file. Here we have open a folder and also we have open recent which show recent open projects in VS Code. So here we open a folder and I simply select my folder and open it. Also there is another way to open project and I always use this second method. For that, we have to open our folder in file explorer and right click and here I get open with code option. I am getting this option because while installing VS code, I check these two options and you can also do that if you like to open project like me. Simply reinstall VS code and check these two options. Also little tip, if we close the VS code window and again reopen VS code from start, it will by default open our previous folder. So this is how our VS code looks when folder is opened. At the top, we get the folder name and in the explorer panel, we have our folder. If we single click on file, then it will show preview of the file. And if we single click on any other file, then we will see that previous file is gone. And if we double click on the file, then it will open that file in the main area. And if we double click on another file, then it will open that file also. We can select file in which we want to write code. Here all file and folder looks small. So hold control or command and press plus key. See it is zooming in VS code. You can adjust zoom according to your needs. Now after the explorer panel, we have search panel. It's like find and replace. If we write here root, then we will see all the lines which have root word. And if we click on that suggestion, then we can go to that file immediately. And we also get that word highlighted. Very useful when you have big project and you want to find function or variable. This search bar is also the same as the search panel, but it has many options. Now next, we have source control panel, which is currently not active because I didn't add git in this project. If you are git user, then you will use this source control a lot. By the way, currently I am working on git and github course in which I will explain git from scratch and I will cover all topics in very simple and easy to understand language. If you are interested to get that course for completely free, then first 100 students can register with their email. They will get this course completely free when I publish. So quickly register for that course and also you can share that form with your friends. Link is down in the description. Now after that, we have debug panel, which we never use. And at the end, we have extensions panel. By this panel, we can download useful extensions and theme for VS Code. Let's quickly make our VS Code look like my previous VS Code. First of all, we have to install theme. So search here AU and install this first theme. This theme has couple of themes. So after it get installed, VS Code asks for theme which we want to apply. You can move up and down and preview the theme. Whatever you like, but in my suggestion, take 
less contrast theme that will not stress your eyes. Here I personally use AU Mirac border and hit enter. Now let's also install one theme for folder icons. So search material icon theme. Install these and also select this folder theme. And now if we go to the explorer panel, see our folder looks much better than before. Now when we write any code, it's better we maintain the format of code. See this is how professional developers code look like. And this is how the same code without format. And the good news is we don't have to format our code manually. For that we can install popular extension called Prettier. So install this extension. Now to apply Prettier as VS Code Formatter, we scroll down to the default formatter section. Here we have to copy these two properties without curly brackets and we have to paste it in setting.json file. So at the left bottom side, we have settings option and open settings and at the top, we have this icon which is setting.json file. So open that. Here in between, we can paste these two lines. And if you get this type of error, then you have to add comma at the end of this line. Save this file using Ctrl plus S or Command plus S. Now when we want to format our code, we want to format our code when we save our file. So we have to enable format on save option. So back to settings and here we search format on save. And check this box. If this box is unchecked, then prettier will not work. Now here in the index.html file, I add some bad format code. And the moment we save the file, see, it's get formatted. This looks cool. Also in the setting, I like to enable some options. First one is mouse will zoom. Check this and also search word wrap and here we also own this. So when we reach to the end of the line, VS code will move us in the new line. See like this. So that's the word wrap and we also enable mouse will zoom which is for zooming the file content. So hold control or command and scroll the mouse wheel up and down. It will zoom in or zoom out our file fonts without increase the size of our VS code. Very useful. Now let me show you some most used VS code shortcuts which you will use a lot. So first one is quick file opener. For that just press control plus P or command plus P. This will open this type of interface. Here we write our file name which is available in our current project folder. I use this a lot to quickly switch between files and also for opening new files without lifting my hand from keyboard. Also there is shortcut for closing the current file which is control plus W or command plus W. Also if you want to remove this sidebar then for that we can press control plus B or command plus B. Also in VS code we have shortcut for comment out lines. So suppose I want to comment this line. So we move our cursor to that line and press control plus slash or command plus slash. And if we again press that then it will remove comment. So we can toggle comment using control plus slash or command plus slash. Also we can comment out multiple lines. So select lines which we want to comment and then press control plus slash or command plus slash. You don't have to remember these shortcuts if you are beginner. I will give you a cheat sheet of these shortcuts but when you constantly use these shortcuts multiple times then you will remember them like me. Now let me give you also bonus shortcuts. So when we are working on any file, many times we have to move lines up and down. 
Now instead of cut paste that line, we can use here shortcut. So hold alter or option and using up and down arrow, we can move line up and down. And if we select multiple lines, then we can also do that with the same way. Also, if we want to duplicate current line, then we can do that using alter plus shift plus down or option plus shift plus down. So that's it for this VS code mini crash course. I hope now you can use VS code much easier and with more flexibilities. Also, don't forget to register for the Git and GitHub course. Only first 100 students will get this course completely free. So fill registration form from description and I will see your smiling faces in the next video.